we're really helping people who are on the verge of, of you know, losing their livelihoods and, and sometimes losing their homes. Uh, you have a lot of single uh, parents, single mothers, uh, coming into the courts on consumer debt kind of issues, housing issues. Apartments have taken away where one uh, lives with a family that's no longer available, so homelessness is increasing. Legal services, the, the Hudson Valley sets the standard, in my judgment, for providing help to all those categories of people, the very best. Well, the challenges are really enormous to be able to serve uh, people in the community who need our assistance, given the number of people who really need our help. People are facing eviction when people are facing the loss of their children, when they're being battered, when they're losing health care. It was hard for her. It was very... I just didn't know which way to tell her to go or how to help her or anything, you know. <laughs> I just told her, you know, she says, I think about getting a lawyer. I says, good idea, go get a lawyer. <laughs> go get them, yeah. When I first met Frida, she was coming in, she had a stack of documents from the Social Security Administration, <laughs> and she was clearly very flustered and confused. She had been unable to pay her rent the prior month, and her landlord had sent her a notice, to pay up or get out. After I spoke with her, it became quite apparent that her housing issue stemmed from a social security problem. She hadn't been getting her full checks. Kyle found out through going to Albany and digging through the records and all, two women from Pennsylvania were getting a check <laughs> in my name, but their address. Potentially, she could have lost her home. You never really know what's going to happen in a hearing. That's why it's scary for people to go into hearings on their own because they don't know the burden that they have to overcome. And that's why I think our work here is so vital. We help so many people. It's hard for seniors, unless they know to go to, the, to somebody to do this, they just give up. And it's, it's very difficult to imagine somebody mm -hmm. just not pursuing it and fighting for themselves. Even though a decision had not yet been made, the evidence, and I mean her testimony, was in our favor. Legal services is absolutely important for especially the elderly. It, it, it's that, you know, there, there are multiple times where I will refer people to legal services of the Hudson Valley. If legal services can step in on that point, it, it's huge. I got a letter from the judge in Albany, you know, saying they went in my favor. And I said, thank you, Lord. Yeah, it was a trying time in my life. If it wasn't for that paper trail and Kyle, I, I wouldn't know where I'd be. <laughs> I wouldn't. Simply put, we think people do better with representation. Uh, time and time again, my colleagues and I will be in court and we see, you know, people missing legal arguments. Uh, potentially, they don't have the relationships with opposing counsel that we have with them. So people just do better with attorneys. My younger son's name is Ashish, and my older son's name is Ryan. Both my children have cerebral palsy. To deal with two children with special needs as a single parent is extremely difficult. It's almost impossible, and I would have never been able to do it without the support of my mother and without the support of my brother, Austin. I'm going to move your hat, OK? The school system knew, you know, we went through the annual review meetings and um, they knew that Ryan needs a communication device. He was really having a hard time communicating with his teachers at school. All right, let's, let's find it. Was it one of these? And for a long time, he had been working with a broken piece of assistive technology. And for Ashish, the school system was reluctant to give him a 12-month program, even though both of my children are in wheelchairs. It was so outrageous to see the most basic services not being provided by the school district. No parent should have to go through what I went through. I think the school districts know better. You know, parents can only do so much and that's where we come in. Legal services was always right there with me. 
and they were just able to pick me up you know and hold on to me and say we're there for you and I owe them everything for that. The problem simply is tens of thousands of people in New York State need lawyers to help them and represent them in their court cases and in other matters that are vital to their lives, to their families, to their health, to their well-being. And yet, they can't afford lawyers. Come on, let's put you on the bike and then we'll show them, okay? So Ashish's case was a shorter period of time, but with a good result. <laughs> and Ryan's case was many months in the making, but ultimately, he got what he needed. Here is where his eye gaze is. Great job, Ryan. It's opened up his world. It's opened up uh, all new possibilities for him educationally, yes, and um, you know, socially as well. Legal services, helping people who need help. That's what it's about. The justice system is about doing justice. And you can't do justice unless people have lawyers.